James Bond just won't find the time to die. Sad news, guys. Sad news, viewers. Uh, <laughs> sad news about James Bond again. He won't I would die. Say. He won't. Yeah. He just won't die. <laughs> oh, guys, we were planning on having a, um, a James Bond pre-show uh, in just a couple of weeks. We were already preparing for it, preparing some oh. James Bond quiz. Uh, well, maybe we should have known better uh, if you look at recent developments in the film industry, because uh, last week the sad news came that James Bond has been rescheduled again. Uh, the premiere of No Time to Die has now been moved to April 2nd, uh, 2021, in order to be seen by a worldwide theatrical audience. That was the motivation to the rescheduling. Um, yeah, the motivation as in uh, early this year, right? Exactly. So uh, when will we get another motivation for it? Will it actually happen in April? Maybe something we can touch on. And uh, will it hurt this, this movie? I'm also uh, curious what you think about that. So, because, of course, um, there was already a promotional campaign earlier this year. There were yeah. already a lot of interviews being done. It had to be stopped now. It's now, last week, again with promotion, exactly. yeah. now Billie yeah. Eilish, her video clip has been released last week. So they also were yeah. starting it again. And then a couple of days later, the news came that it was uh, um, postponed again. To start with, what, 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 did, what did you uh, guys think when you heard the news? Uh, Sven, maybe you are uh, the, the biggest James Bond fan amongst us. Uh, what was your reaction to it? Well, I had already tickets to see it oh, on, yeah, of course. Uh, on oh, the 14th yeah. of November, so I was really, oh. yeah, I was disappointed, of course. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's one of the, it's actually the only blockbuster I was looking forward to come, uh, instead of Tenet, which I've seen, because I was uh, curious, because it was, it was a big movie, but that was, yeah, I was not so um, thrilled as I was for uh, James Bond. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm I'm disappointed also because it's uh, especially because we had so many cool plans and ideas to look forward to, and we have. But we will keep them for for a good. Yeah, so. okay, but that's uh, half a year. So yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a lot. And it's also uh, in well, I also keep in mind that it will affect other releases, so that we yeah. have to be a bit that it's like a causing. Um, an effect on the other uh, production yeah. releases, which yeah. uh, I think that, that that in total made the disappointment uh, feeling really present. Um, mm. And you know, things are um, getting more difficult anyway. Uh, again, by the by the COVID um, yeah. um, measurements. Measure measurements. Yeah. So yeah, these are things you were looking forward to, and they are disappearing again. So yeah, it's. Uh, Sad. Disappointing. Yeah. Disappointing. Yeah. Uh, Kuhn, what did you think? Yeah, in, in a way, still unexpected. Even if maybe with all the numbers in Europe going up, it wasn't unexpected at all. It was realistic. But <laughs> yeah. I really thought, okay, you know, like Tenet really broke the 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 ban on on cinemas. Let's say. Uh, yeah, but, but I think Tenet is part of the decision making here. Yeah. How, do you know the the numbers of Tenet? They made now so far 243 million uh, internationally. I thought you said wanted to say 240,000. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> yeah. it would be very sad. Yeah, exactly, yeah. 243 million internationally, but only 40, okay. 41 million in the US. Yeah. Um, so yeah, ah, cinemas, the cinemas in LA, in New York, and San Francisco are completely closed. Yeah, what, what was the, the budget? It was 200, I think. No, 200. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, of course, imagine all the marketing they put already. It's of course they. Yeah, I'm not they sure if that's taken into it, but. No, for sure they are minus, but uh, yeah. still. But uh, you think that's the, the main reason? You think? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think a lot of studios have been waiting to see what the, uh, the, what the results of Tenant would be, because you can see over the uh, the course of the last weeks there has been yeah. quite some postponements of of movies again. So I think they they did take a look. Um, at what Tenet did, but maybe also what Mulan did at Disney Plus, oh. and yeah. and those results are not that uh, surprisingly good. That they say like, okay, now we want to do this also with with our movie. Then apparently they rather push it to a later date when yeah. the masses can go and see it. Also, I think of course if you check all the other really big upcoming uh, blockbusters besides June, uh, the other there are a lot of them of course like The Matrix, Top Gun. Yeah, a lot of big movies are already postponed till next year. Yeah, uh, so in that sense, not surprising, but I think also it's the right call. I do think April is again tricky to choose because 
we know now, we know, yeah. we don't know anything actually, but yeah. we think we know that in the summer, of course, again, or we have a Foxan working maybe, or for sure the numbers will go down again a bit. So the, way, the second wave will be done, hopefully then. But it's, it's just taking you, they, they just take it out of the sky. I mean, they can't... Um, yeah, but they, then don't, don't choose May or June where you know it's going to be at least better than April. April is still like, we don't know, I think, you know, in terms of... Yeah, but, but do, do we know next summer that it will be... They should say like Matrix 4 did, like we're going to postpone it to 2022. Yeah. That's maybe yeah, the then, then, then is the question, like, the good thing they have on their side is like, normally I think the biggest reason not to postpone so long, of course, is it like uh, CGI goes really fast, the advancements. So is, is your movie not like, uh, especially if you make a movie like Avengers, you cannot wait so long because in three years you can make way more sicker stuff. But there haven't been so many movies in these years, so it doesn't really matter, I think, if you postpone it longer. No, I no. think people will still go. It's, it, first of all, it's a James Bond movie, which always, uh, uh, especially, they have been really strong the last two. So everybody, will, people will still go. And second of all, it's the last movie with Daniel Craig, which people also want to see, I think, uh, yeah, yeah. I think like maybe. Sorry. I think uh, maybe partners also have an influence because Heineken is a sponsor of James Bond. Oh, yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. And the UEFA Euro uh, Championships are uh, starting in June. It's also powered by Heineken. I think that has an yeah. influence that they don't want to release yeah. it the same month. Ah, uh, yeah, clever. Yeah, makes yeah, sense. Cool. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, it's um, it's it's uh, sad. It's it's super sad. Yeah, I, I, I just started. I I got the news. Yeah. Uh, when I was just started watching Casino Royale this weekend, because I was preparing oh, for the premiere in November, I felt like, okay, I'm going to watch them all again, uh, starting with Casino Royale, at least the Daniel Craig movies. And I really loved it. I didn't remember that I liked it. Uh, uh, the first time I didn't like it so much, I think I remember. But I, I think it's a really great, uh, great James Bond movie, Casino Royale. Yes, and then is. I heard, uh, I got this uh, tweet message, like James Bond has been uh, delayed again. So it was uh, like, uh, I shut it off right away. No, I didn't. But uh, <laughs> it yeah, was no time to die. <laughs> <laughs> well, screw you then. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's what, what is interesting, I think, mainly for this, and I'm curious what you guys think about this. Like, uh, I don't think it's a problem that you postpone it, but what do you do with all the marketing? Because they, they yeah. I don't think they invest as much as they normally would, considering it was Corona, there was no crack on television or whatever, I think, till now. Uh, only commercials they had them, I think, teasers. And of course, did they have in Holland or Sweden already like billboards or whatever outside? No, I didn't see it. No. Oh, here also not. Well, I, we had this uh, in February. We had the big uh, um, installation at the Utrecht Central uh, oh. Station, Central Station, okay. yeah. where you could uh, be part of, uh, you could record your own intro. Oh, you uh, did it, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. That was really, it, was really cool. Feels like oh. ages ago. Feels like it was it was before COVID, so it was, yeah, a, yeah. It was a different oh, life. Yeah, but insane. It was before Groundhog Day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But if you think about it, Sven, imagine they do this big thing in Utrecht. Imagine this is only one country. Imagine now we can also think a little bit to comprehend the the, the budget they spend on marketing all over the freaking world. You know, yeah. so that's the question. Like, yeah. but considering, I don't think they need to do so much marketing anymore if they release it next year because. If they postpone everything, everybody, especially when, when the, the, the virus is less and we have the only control with medicine or vaccine, hopefully by next year, people will go crazy. I think they will go to every movie they can, I think, again. Yeah, yeah that remains, remains to be seen. There's so much in cinema next year. Yeah, and that's a problem for us, I think. We, we don't have time next year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think in general, like uh, like in US, I think like one people go once or twice, they once each month, I think, to cinema. So the question is, will those people go more often next month, the, the, like just the average uh, cinema goer, or will they just be much more picky? And a lot of movies will still not make the results that they normally would have made in a normal uh, cinema year, so to say. Well, uh, you mean there's not more concurrence uh, in next year? Next year, there's a lot of comp comp uh, competitors. competitors. Yeah, competitors. Yeah, yeah, so there's a lot of competitors. And if, if people go only once a month, if you have, uh, for I'm um, just an uh, example, but if you have James Bond against Wonder Woman, against Dune, and against, yeah. like, okay, if they go once a month, maybe they pick one of those. Well, otherwise, they may have, in several months, seen them yeah. all. Actually, what I don't understand is in this situation, of course, like Hollywood is always like a murdering competition between studios, but I, I would imagine that they would, because also a lot of uh, like the big studios are competitors, but a lot of partners that use for movies are always working with studio, one studio from time to time. They should make some kind of arrangement like, guys, we have so much cool movies now. Let's 
make a plan and a schedule because otherwise every, yeah. every movie will lose money now. Yeah, well, I am. I, I do think they look at each other like where do they schedule in the movie? They should, yeah. They do yeah. It, I think they do it in general in normal times, of course. Yeah, that's exactly. why. And you always have the big movies at the beginning of the summer or you have them always in the, the, the exactly. November, December months, of yeah, course. Yeah. Yeah, they have to now, especially. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, uh, so we will have to wait again until April. Uh, April 2nd, 2021, that's when it's now scheduled. Uh, well, we make the promise now that what we had planned for November, we will still do uh, around April. So we will still do that pre-show. Um, we will still make that quiz and those kind of things. And we will keep a close eye on all James Bond news in the upcoming months. And we hope that it won't be rescheduled again. And yeah. so if you want to stay updated and you're not subscribed yet, subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you like the little chat here, give us a like and let us let us know what you think. Do you do you think it will be still, will it actually finally premiere in, in April or do you think it will be pushed again? Is this a smart move? Is it not a smart move? Discuss with us in the comments. We're always interested to know and to hear what, what you think. So um, yeah. yeah, guys, the wait continues. Yeah, unfortunately. See you next time.